everybody, I'm Molde Worst, and this is Batten Kaidos once again. In the last episode, Lady Melodia got kidnapped, and people believe I did it, which I didn't because I was too busy fighting a giant card to be kidnapping anybody. With that said, there was also people saying something about her being taken to the Shrine of Spirits. And that's where we're going to go prove that we didn't go stealing no person. I ain't no professional people stealer. That's a job best left to professionals who are not me, as I have already previously established. Wow. It's been a while since I came here. This is where I met you. Remember? Yeah, Crank Nug remembers. So... Memories are coming back. Never said they were gone. You'll be back to your old self in no time. But I am my old self. I've never been any other kind of me. I ain't no new me. And you know you can't go lie to me about who I am. Now, where exactly... W now, if I was a kidnapper, where would I take my victim in a place like this? Probably to the deepest area. That's what I would do. It only makes perfect sense. Ooh. Wind God Blade. Now that is a good looking sword I just picked up. A real good looking sword. I don't need no fishing rod in there. Switch that out for that sword I just picked up. And there's bats. Fight together. Of course we can. We never don't fight up together. What kind of stupid, non-fighting-together person you think I am? The kind of stupid person who don't know how to fight together with other people in the team? You think I'm dumb, lady? If you think I'm dumb, well, I think you're dumb. How do you feel about that? I see, so that's your answer. Your answer is to shoot a little squeaky thing at a bat. I do say I like your answer. That is a very good answer. Probably the same answer I would go using. Now then. It's Callus' turn to beat up the big floaty bat thing. And, and, yep, just hit him with that stuff. Put him to sleep and wake him right back up. Now blow him up! Boom! That thing not alive no more. And Gibari didn't even get a chance to beat it over the head with his paddle. Maybe next time, Gibari. <sighs> I got all worried for nothing. You're damn right you did. I will take that sculpting knife and insert it into my ass where it will remain safely forever. Once something goes in there, it don't come back out. Forget everything I just said. Now let's get back to finding the kidnapped person and making sure people don't think I did it. And there's an alien walking around. Lots of aliens. This doesn't look too fair. Yep, couple of birds and an alien. Nothing fair about that. Trust me, I know fair when I see it and that is Dark. definitely not fair. Wait. Ain't no such thing as fair when it comes to that sort of thing. Now die, you stupid song bitch! Yeah! You take that 270 damage, you take it like a man! And if you refuse to take it, well, I don't know what to tell you, just don't take it then. Are you done yet, you stupid bird bastard? People got a life to live, and that life does not involve Is that all being hit by a bird. That's right, I blocked every single thing you threw at me and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. So you're done there. Alien man! You get a nice old fashioned ass woman. There you go! Whip that alien ass! Whip it so hard! So good! So dead be that alien man when I have done with him. Yep, definitely ain't alive no more. You don't survive falling flat on your back like that after energy shoots up beneath your feet. Now for you. Just 
stupid bird bastard. You get to get all dead and shit. Whack. And of course it survives. Why can't it be dead like I want it to be? Shall I shove these chestnuts in your mouth? Here. Here indeed. Them some good nuts. Peach! Cheese! Defend me! And strawberries too, because why the fuck not? There we go, the strawberries! Oh, never underestimate the raw defensive power of strawberries! Now, what am I gonna beat you to death with? Perhaps I should just dump honey on my face and take a selfie while I'm at it. Ox tongue. Here you go. Nice. Gonna go ahead and waste a few things, though. There's some things in Callus's deck that I want to get all together so that I can use them. There are things that I want to use. And... Basically, when I use them all together, it's gonna give me a really, really good healing item. Oh, That's a dead bird. The deadest bird I ever did saw. And I've seen a few dead birds in my day. I have seen a bird or two. A bird or two of the dead variety. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Knowing how things usually go, this bird probably ain't gonna live long enough for me to get the hand that I want. Harder! Callus! In case you're wondering, what I need, everything that I need is the power helmet, uncooked rice, mineral water, and small fire. I use all that together and it cooks the rice real good. And, you know what? Here, have some mineral water and an ox tongue. Here. And a catchphrase. Sit. And Let's manners. Sit. I'm hungry. And this thing. Put this. And honey. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna blow through random shit until I get what I need. And I see it didn't really like being healed. That's why I tried to block the honey. Alright, here we go. Helmet. Uh, no! Damn it! Damn it! I told you to go left! Why you don't go left? I wanted the helmet and then the water and everything, but no, the game had to ruin it. Fine. I want to sit here and uh, go and shuffle the damn deck again, and then I won't go through that. We'll save it for the next battle. I went and blew it because the controller shat all over my face and my dad works at Nintendo. Wow! Gurgle. Dark? Gurgle, 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 There I am arguing. Don't you argue with me? I argue with all of the burgle burgles. Now incinerate this bird, and hopefully in the next battle we'll actually get the goddamn hand, and the bullshit won't happen again, and it's not gonna. It's just gonna do what it's supposed to do. And it's the next battle we're gonna cook rice in. Picture of Callus, picture of Callus. That's a neat looking thing. Tekken Iron Fists. Yeah. Anywho, we got another thing here. It's a constellation. Yay! With that out of the way, there's just more of the thing that needs to be. Ooh, water Blade. Let's just shove that all up in Callus deck. What should be replaced? Shitty camera, you go fuck yourself. I'll stick with the, the level 2 camera, that's the good thing. That is all the good good that I need. That's the goodness of the camera of all the good times we've ever had. Now, no, no don't want to say it again. And Bert. I have a bad feeling about this. Why do you have a bad feeling, Yabari? It's just one bird. And this time we're gonna cook some goddamn rice! Ow, my ears!
All right, finally. Helmet, rice, water, and fire. This will help. There. Take this. That should cook the rice real good. There we go. That took a lot longer than it should have. Now, finally, I get to beat some goddamn bird ass. And your ass is gonna get beat real hard. I was holding back this whole time just because I wanted to cook some goddamn rice. Too close. That was not close at all. We sat there and just... See that? Heals 800 health. Good. Good thing to be... That was like, very much worth all the trouble I went through. Though it wasn't much trouble, but so much as it was a lot of wasted time. But who should get the rice in their deck? I'll probably yeah, just switch out the honey for it. That's what we do. Wait, better idea! Switch out the uncooked rice. Yeah, now that I used that. But then again, he might get all the things that he needs to make it again. Everyone is not at full health, though. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and... There. That's better. Gibari's got a few bumps and boo-boos, but he will be fine. He's a big, strong man of the sky. This place sure is creepy. Makes those little hairs on the back of my neck stand on end. I need to talk to the lady in private. That's why we're here. Taking her back to the Goldova would cause a ruckus. We're not declaring war on Mirror, after all. I say we hurry up and trade the kid. Grab what we're here for and leave. I don't know why, but this whole nation makes my stomach churn. What? You don't like this place? I well, like it. I agree with Yet our orders are to avoid direct conflict. The lady is a friend of our Emperor, after all. Oh boy. So, dear lady, is there anything you know that may be relevant? If not a Shining Magnus, maybe an old family treasure or two. Anything may help. As I have told you countless times, I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you sure this mystical Magnus of yours is truly in our lands? Even if it is, I know nothing of it. Somehow I doubt that. If such a thing does exist, my grandfather, Duke Calvern, may know of it. Hmm. I had hoped to learn something from you beforehand. But no matter. We'll talk with the Duke as planned and guarantee your safety in exchange for his cooperation. So, yeah, still kidnapping her. Are you sure it's here? Even Corellia back in NUNUA hadn't heard of the End Magnus. What makes you think Calbrin knows? Because he does. It is the Ducal family's duty to protect this island's End Magnus. Ducal? Does that word have anything to do with feces? Because I feel like the word Ducal might have something to do with poop. Before you talk with the Duke, why don't we have a little chat, Giacomo? Oh, yeah! Ah, Callus, it's you again. Yep. We're all here! And we're gonna beat your ass! You really know how to make an entrance. I just about had a call babysitting. Time for some action. Yeah! Yes, how very thoughtful of you all to show up. And look. Today we have a surprise appearance by Sir Liu. Backstabber extraordinaire down with the enemy after throwing away his own country. He's not actually with us, he's just kind of following us around against my will. How dare you! Karen, you little maggot. No fooling around today. We're running out of time. I won't kill you though. There's a few things I need to ask you. But believe me. This is going to hurt. Enough talk! It's payback time! Prepare to die, Giacomo! I fucking oh, love this song. You fight me. Oh, why not? Shut up, Missy. Go sit. Ow! Well, 
that's just rude. Thought you weren't supposed to be doing things like that. What the? I think that might be the thing she was trying to tell us. You hear that? It's about. Yeah, it's an earthquake. The spirits. Your hatred is stirring them up. There are tree spirits here. There are trees here. I have not seen one damn tree since we got to this island. The boundary between dimensions is breaking apart. And that's bad, right? Yep. Giant worm, bad. Well, now we've got another monstrous tapeworm that slithered out of Satan's rectum. Now that's ugly. I already fought something kinda like it. Hold on, Amy. Let us leave our friends for this mess. Hmm. So sorry I have to bid you farewell. Such a pity, really. Consider yourself lucky. Well, they got jetpacks. Stand back. You don't need wings when you got a jetpack, apparently. But wings are cool, though. Stay sharp. This isn't gonna be a cakewalk. All right, let's beat some worm ass. And this time, I ain't gonna sit around for 20 minutes trying to find a helmet and water and rice and fire. If I just so happen to get all those things. Then maybe I'll cook us some rice. Light. And just burn you light. real good. Yeah. Hit you with the light, fire the wind, burn. and the fire. He's probably going to be very resistant to light. Yes, incredibly resistant to light. So it's the darkness that I want. And I see Callus ain't got jack shit to hit him with. Fantastic. And at least he's attacking the right guy. Attacking the guy with all the defending. And paralysis. Yay! I love being paralyzed. And then attacked while completely helpless. But he is kind of frozen in his defensive stance, so why isn't that counting as a block? should, but it don't. Well, now, I think you are indeed a serious ass woman. The most serious of all seriousness of all the ass whooping is coming for your big fat worm ass right now. Yeah, that's what I call a serious whooping of the ass. And let's just throw that at Callus. Like, since he's paralyzed, unable to move, he probably can't even eat it. He'll just be sitting there like, uh, just have it smushed all over his face. And of course, cows don't get to do jack shit because of being paralyzed. And look at that. Yavari don't get no paralyzy type because... Well, he's just probably more resistant to paralyzing paralyziness than Callus is. So can Callus do something now, or is he just gonna stand there like a jackass? He probably gonna do the second bag. He do so enjoy being them jackass powers. I don't even know what I'm trying to talk about. I'm just trying to make conversation. It's one of my special talents just to make conversation out of utter. Bullshit. Now let's continue the beat worm ass. And fantastic. Dark Nothing even remotely usable. So maybe yeah. Still attacking the wrong guy. I wanted you to attack Shella so she could use up some of that defensey juice. Hey, look at that! Callus gets the turn. Turn time for yeah. Callus. Yeah! yeah. Cheeseburger. Get a picture of him and then blow his fucking this ass up. Release. Sword style. Hey, yo! That actually did more damage than I thought it would. 
Those are some good weaknesses I'm hitting them with. Hit him with all that good time juice. And a little bit of that. Show me what you got! Show me what you got! And he's spinning! I always liked that move, Whirlwind Hit. Not the most creative name, Life. but I like how it just spins him around when you hit him. Now please, 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 that is not Shella! I wanted you to attack Shelly! And then you go and... Hey, Kalos ain't paralyzed this time. Sweet. I love it when he's not getting paralyzed. Not gonna block with the flamey sword. Or the flames. The flames blocking with that. Oh, that doesn't set me on fire. Hey, look, Rice. So then. Yep, go ahead and drain my life. That's fair. I love it when you drain my essential juices and oils and use them for your own nefarious purposes. Here, Gabari, have some honey and rice and such. Here. Ricey, ricey, honey rice. This'll help. That'll keep you alive for a real long time. Oh, the essential healing properties of all of the rice. And of course, the honey has a thing to do with it, too. Some good ass honey. Alright, finally, Shella gets to do something. Shella gets to do the hitty hits. And now there's nothing I can do without ruining things I've already put in place or healing the bastard. Yay! Terrible hand for me! Terrible hand for you! Dallas ain't seeming to get anything usable. Alright. That works for me. And... Dong! There you go. And going after Callus again, because why the fuck not? So much fun we are having this day. And try to suck out my juices again. How dare you? Them's my juices. You ain't allowed to have them, god damn it. Now would you please go after Shella? She's got all the defensey juice. The defendable juices are all with her. And... You Not did. sure why I ditched that when I should have ditched something else. Something that is more ditchable. Motherfucker. Ah. And Callus ain't got shit and I don't want to go wasting awesome? the fucking goddamn rice making stuff. Because that's that good shit to have. And now Shella is completely helpless. Yay! Free lasers to the face! And I'm willing to bet you're gonna suck the juices out of her brain hole, aren't you? Yep, of course you are. You fucking cheating bastard. How dare you go do a shit like that? And now it's Gibari who's got all the fucking defense, and now he's got cheese, apparently. Yay! I love being able to sit here doing nothing. You don't need to do that, you already paralyzed, you big stupid. Just look at her, you put her in a wheelchair. Here, Shella, have some wine and a worm. And a catchphrase while you're at it. This will help. All I need to make the rice again is the helmet, and then I'll make more rice. I don't really need to make more rice, but I want to. Use this. You can never have too much cooked rice. All right, now, uh, yeah, let's just beat this thing up. Fire burn. Beat him up till there's nothing left to Fire beat. Burn. Beat the whole ever-loving worm burn. shit out this bastard. I'll finish you. You probably won't finish him. You can say that all you want, but that don't make it true! Yeah, you barely even undid the healing that he did. Gold symbol. Ah! That is murder on the ears. Especially if you got fucking earbuds all up in your head. Making you hear things. Here, have a rotten fruit. You know what? 
cancel out the damn fire. Hit him with all the water! I just want to hit this damn thing! Yeah, boy! You're taking some hurting now! There we go! That's what I wanted! I really want to see you in agony and pain! And throw a catchphrase in the mix because I can! Would you stop blocking everything? Apparently he really liked to block attacks. Then again, I guess that's what his defense increase does. And I see Callus it refuses to get the helmet. He needs the power helmet to make more rice. But more rice don't want to get made. No rice, apparently. No rice cooking for this giant worm bastard. Now, I Darn want me. to kill you, but I can't really do much here. You're gonna get killed eventually, worm. Just you wait. And just watch that. Oh, he had his leg had a seat there. But I was about to say, just wait and see. I bet the power helmet is going to be the very last thing in Callus's deck. And the second he draws it, he's gonna have to shuffle them cards. And now Shella can't do jack shit because her deck's all used up. Yay! That's right. Utter helplessness. Can't do anything. And you this. Yeah, man, you bastard. Hit Jabari. He needs to use his defense. And you got a shuffle, too. Ha, how do you like a dick nose? There you go. There's the helmet. And on Callus's next turn, there will be rice. And that thing gonna get some health back. Because of the right uncooked rice heals it by 20 points. But that ain't a lot. And no, I don't want to accidentally kill it. I want more rice. We will have the rice. This is the rice episode. Don't you dare. You motherfucker. Well, water. Helmet, water. Rice and fire. Helmet, water, rice and fire. That's right. Block the rice. You don't like rice. Rice is for the... I did that in the wrong order, didn't I? Or maybe just all of his blocks ruined it. Either way, something went wrong. Something went wrong there. And he be the one to blame. And have a smash tackle! Haven't used this move yet. You suck his power! Smash tackle! There you go! Just charge him with those wangs. He does resist the Chrono's damage some, but who cares? It hurt him good still. He gets that good pain, the pain that he so enjoys, that he desperately wants, that it's going to kill him. Is that death? Yep. He's going all wiggly woo. Whoa! I'm bad. I lost. Yeah, damn right, you? lost. And she's in the way. No! Get away from it! It's a giant worm. You don't want to give it a hug. Trust me, I've done it before. It does not work out well. You must stop this. It's alright now. Just calm down. The hatred. It's fading away. Apparently she's a worm whisperer. What the? Everything will be alright. Go back home now, okay? This is no place for you to be. Not yet. Just wait a little longer. Please? Well, there it goes. All I had to do was kick the shit out of it, and then she's like, Nah, that's enough. You heard it enough. Get out of here, you stupid worm bastard. And it's called a secret. A secret. Neat.
Phew. That was quite a spectacle. Duke Calvin's strong will definitely runs in the family. How did you do that? Like I told you already, apparently she's a worm whisperer. Weren't you listening, Savina? Lady Melodia, is my lady safe? Yes, I am fine. These travelers rescued me. Oh, thank God. It was a good thing you were here to protect the lady. You have our heartfelt thanks. Lady Melodia, the Duke is terribly worried. We should return immediately. No time for details. We can discuss this mess fully at the manor. Let us go then. Thank you very much, all of you. Please come to my grandfather's manor. You will be most welcome. All I right, then. going. To the Duke's oh, I manor, guess then. Lady Melodia didn't know anything about the M. Magnus. Or she was faking. Looks like it. But you heard what Giacomo said. The Duke himself might know a thing or two. Well, it's a good thing we have one of the N. Magnus with us. We could simply show him and see if he recognizes it. Yeah, that might work. That should convince him that something's about to happen. Hey, what's wrong, kid? What are you doing? Um... It's gone. What do you mean? Uh, is that all? For a second, I thought... What? Gone? What's gone? Not our N. Magnus! No way! Speak up! I think I have an idea. It was eaten by Pac-Man! Yeah, it's gone all right. The N. Magnus is missing. I might be joking about that, but... There is a thing in the second game, or prequel rather, you can find a guy in a sewer and he gives you Pac-Man and he just sits there in like your blank Magnus where you pick everything up and he just moves from Magnus to Magnus and will eat anything you put next to him unless it is a thing required for the main story, in which case he cannot eat it. Don't give me that! A Magnus doesn't just get up and walk away, you know. Forgive me for asking, but did you run a thorough search? Are you sure it's missing? Or maybe it's in your pocket, Liud. Or someone else's pocket. Yes, inside and out. It's gone. Just gone. You don't believe me? Look for yourself! But it can't be! It was there when we set out for Amira. Yeah, and it was there when we got here. But shortly after, it went missing. I know exactly what happened because I played this game before. But I ain't Could spoiling that dropped just it yet. Somewhere? Someone would have noticed with the shining and all that. Tell me, do you know where the end Magnus is? As a matter of fact, I do. But I cannot tell anyone without spoiling things. I know, uh, but I can't tell you. Seriously? Uh, seriously, I do! You really know where it is? Yes, I do. I don't really know, but... Well, I do really know, but I won't tell you. I won't tell you! You don't really know, do you? Oh, I do. Don't mess with me like that. Sorry. Doesn't know either. Cranknug does know, but Cranknug refuses to reveal steps back to the ship and look for it along the way. Yes, I agree. Yes, let's waste time. Giacomo and his men need to keep a low profile. That gives us some time to look for the Magnus. Well, that settles it. So let's get cracking. Yeah. Search the place! Search the whole island! You will not find it because I know exactly where it is. 
And I will not spoil! No, no, spoilers are not happening! You will just have to wait until it gets revealed later. Not there, not in the place with the scales, not in Candy Town! It ain't nowhere to be found. Hmm, no sign of it. Where could it be? Perhaps it is tucked safely and tucked safely away, but in between somebody's ass cheeks. Someone you ever think about that? Already picked it up. Very unlikely. If someone found it, I'm pretty sure the ensuing fuss would have reached us by now. You have a point. The village was just as quiet as always. I still don't get it. How could you drop something like that without noticing, Callus? Well, it happens to hey, everybody. Wait a minute. You're not blaming me for this, are you? Give me a break already. Since when was I in charge of all our stuff? If you're right, this is everyone's fault. We shouldn't put all the blame on Callus. Hmm. It still doesn't add up. Are you sure you dropped it? What? Maybe there's a pickpocket or something? What do you mean, Savino? You mean... I blame Liud. I never liked the guy. You're saying someone stole it? It's unlikely we would drop something like that without noticing. This naturally brings up the possibility of theft. But how? Who would be able to grab it without us noticing? Someone among us. It's unlikely that anyone else could have. Hmm. You think one of us stole it? I don't believe this! Again, I'd like to point fingers at Liud. Since we don't know when exactly it was stolen, it's possible that any of us could have taken it. Yes, very possible. Very possible indeed. Wait a minute. Leud. What about that masked traveler? The one who helped us reach Mira? The great Mizuti? I'd say no. Never came anywhere near our stuff. Besides, I doubt that little creature could lift anything from us without standing out. Mizuti's so, definitely in the clear. It was one of us, then. Maybe you dropped it in the other world when you f got shot out of the Trail of Souls. It most certainly wasn't me. Or was it? Hey, Liu, relax. No one's accusing you. I am. Don't worry, Liud. We know you're not under the Empire's mind spell anymore. Yeah, but I still don't like him, so that makes him the prime suspect. Just me the not liking him is all it takes. Said you're clean. Maybe that doctor was a quack. We're not doubting you. I know I didn't, but am I really... Oops. Supposing one of us button. did steal the Magnus, where is it now? None of us is carrying it, and there weren't any chances to pass it on to the Empire. We did encounter Giacomo and his goons in the Shrine of Spirits. But none of us would have had enough time during that battle to hand it to them. So where is it? How did the thief hide it without us noticing? Let's just stop talking about this. We're not getting anywhere. Let's just trust each other and move on. Now that we've literally lost our entire hand, we can't allow the Empire to get this island's end madness. But yeah. can we really trust each other? I'd say we can, just long enough to get the other Magnus so that the thief can hand it off to them again. There may be a traitor among us. There might be. Uh. Liud. Then again, this loss of trust could be precisely what they intended. Giacomo and the others could have stolen our N Magnus somehow, as part of a ruse to turn us against each other. If so, it's working well so far. 
Yeah, now that you mention it, that is a possibility. Anyway, we should head for Duke Calvern's manor. Giacomo may be up to something while we're sitting here. We have no time to waste. Yeah, even though we've wasted we'll all that all time right looking if we for trust it. Trust each other. We have to. All right then. It's settled. I we agree. don't hate each other. Things will only get worse if we wait. All right. All right. We'll have time to worry about this later. Sooner or later, we'll find out what happened to our N Magnus. Let's take care of the more crucial problems first. Yeah. Okay. Let's go pay a visit to Duke Calvin. We must prevent Galdablane from obtaining this island's N Magnus. Yeah. We gotta give it to the thief so he can give it to them. Now, everybody's in the clear. There is no traitor among us except maybe there is. Leud. I never liked that red-haired bastard. Can't trust him as far as you can throw him. Yes, it's a city. Plan Quar, Brow of Illusion. Hey, is that you, Callus? Where have you been all this time? What are you up to these days? Furiously masturbating all the time. That's what I'm doing. Hey, long time no see. Yes, guy with no name. It's so good to see you. Remember when we used to hang out? You, me, and Trill? Let's get together sometime and chat about the good old days, okay? Alright then. I like how this island only has... Well, it... Well, only has three towns is a bit of a... Not exactly a small number. I'm, in fact, I think it's got the most towns of any island. But it's got fucking... Candy Town, fucking Picture Book Village, and regular ass city. It's a whole lot of variety here. I like the. I guess I just like the light hearted nature of the towns in this island. And then there's big fucking city place that's all normal city and not weird at all, like the other places I've been to. I like the weirdness. The weirdness is fun and cool. And now let's get up on out of this place and get back to doing the thingy do I am on my way to do. We gonna go see the Duke. The Duke must be seen told about things that are happening. Out of the way, kid. Run around all crazy like that. You Someone's gonna trip over you and then fall balls first in your mouth and nobody wants that. Do not come any closer! This is the manor of Duke Calbrin, the Grand Duke of Mira. We cannot allow strangers to enter. I must ask you to leave immediately. Following the recent abduction of Lady Melodia, we have tightened security around the manor. Unless you have acquaintances living in the manor, I must ask that you leave the premises immediately! So... I guess she's not back yet. I don't believe this! We're the ones that saved her! It seems Melodia hasn't returned yet. How did we get ahead of her? I thought they were heading right back and we spent all that- WASTED all that time looking for that missing end, Magnus. Leud. All we can do is wait for her to get back. Let's go look around town until, she, until then. Yeah. Gotta talk to a few people before things will actually progress. As is the case with most random ass RPGs like this. Like this old lady. Why, you came just in time. Care to hear an old woman's tale? I'm sure you'll like it. Alright, I guess I got nothing else to do. A long, long time ago, Mira was just another island floating in the sky. One day, a swirling whirlpool engulfed the land, and Mira fell into a dimensional rift. 
Mira was about to sink into an abyss so deep there was no hope of it ever emerging again. That sounds bad. It was then that a group of mysterious wizards appeared from the depths of the earth. The wizards, calling themselves the Guardians, saved Mira somehow. The Guardians spoke these words to my ancestors. Five great evils lie buried in this world. None should ever attempt to earth. Should they be unsealed, all five evils unleashed. Our world would succumb to the everlasting curse of the evil god Melpertia. Melpertia will never be restored to his full might. Can you repeat that? I couldn't hear you over the orchestra. For the Guardians destroyed his evil in its entirety. However, should the white-winged darkness alight upon this land, the world will disappear without a sound. Swallowed by a maelstrom of chaos. This story is from the dream of a great waiting, wise and alone. It goes back for ages, before the continents rose into the sky. So this is a story you heard from a whale. When Earth, ocean, and man still lived as one. Are you sure you can trust it? Whales can be kind of dumb sometimes. They end up putting themselves on the beach where they can't do anything and they just dry out and die and it's horrible for everyone involved. What happens after that is no longer known. Our only hope is the ocean long lost. Find us, almighty ocean, and forgive us. Our only hope is the ocean long lost. I'd never heard that story before. Most people these days don't know of it. The young seldom listen to the musings of us elderly. Wouldn't you say? Yep, wouldn't really I listen to you. The five great oh. evils must be referring to the end, Magnus. But like I was saying before, I was interrupted by Leod. People, pro we probably wouldn't listen if we didn't have to wait around for Melodia to get back so we could get into the mansion and ask the big old Dookie man if he knows about the end, Magnus. The five end Magnus, holding the power of Malpercio, wicked god of death and destruction. It sounds a lot like the king's story in Diadem. But what was that part about Malpercio never being restored fully? And the white winged darkness? Hmm. Since the Guardians completely destroyed Malpercio, he can never be resurrected. But what about the five great evils? Or end Magnus, rather, being unleashed? and the awakening of Malpercio's curse. What could that possibly be? Perhaps a curse and not the evil god himself. And when the five N Magnus are unleashed, releasing the white winged darkness, a maelstrom of chaos will envelop the world? I know this is a prophecy, or should I say warning, but I still don't understand what it all means. That's the nature of prophecy. We will know when the time comes. Yep. Yet wouldn't it be too late by then? Yes, it would. And that's why prophecy is a bitch. Well, it's an old legend. We no longer know how much of it is actually true. Don't worry yourselves too much. Well then, we have learned something new. And... I'm pretty sure there's one more person that needs to be talked to. And then that would open the way, and this is not the person that needs to be talked to. Yeah. Well, either way. No, wait, I think I can go a little bit longer to make up for the time wasted trying to cook rice on that bird only to throw away my special attack. Yeah. Let's at least talk to these... Notice something wedged beneath the barrel. Oh, sweet. Deluxe red wine. Now, you there. Trill's father. Oh, Callus, what a surprise. It's been a long time, man. What have you been? I'm afraid Trill isn't here right now. She left home for the confectionery village to study to become a pastry cook. Yeah, I know. I saw her in part ass. Hmm, you already met her? I'm glad to hear that. She's really been worried about you. Will you try her cooking machine kitchen bag? She's... Not a good cook, but I'm sure she'll enjoy cooking for you. 
I think that's all the talking to people that I needed to do. I think. Please tell me I'm right. Hey, am I allowed in the mansion yet, or do I gotta go talk to someone else? Can I allow? Leave immediately. Blah, blah, blurbity blarg. Yep, still gotta talk to another person. There is another person who is in need of a talking tool. And then that'll let me through in the place. Uh, but about this guy? Carlos, he came back. Your face brings back old memories. I remember that day, 12 years ago, when you first arrived in this town. You all arrived together. You, your grandfather, and your brother. What was his name? Was it Fee? Your grandfather had taken you home homeless boys in and provided for everyone by fixing gadgets. I'm almost the age he was then, and I really admire him. Not everyone can do what he did. If only that accident hadn't happened. Wasn't so much of an accident as it was an assassination. Those awful flames consumed everything. Yes, you were the only one who survived. Hmm, there was also a doctor who arrived with you. That doctor stayed for a while, and then he was gone. I wonder what became of him. Oh, I'm sorry. Now that I'm old, it seems all I can do is talk about the past. I'm glad to see you again, Callus. Enjoy your stay, and this is your hometown, after all. This guy, anything to say? Oh, hi, Callus. I see you. I'm doing well, but I gotta tell you, life is tough. Changed for the worst once your family was gone. Grandpa and the back for repair things, the tools and gadgets that were repaired by him sprang back to life. It was as if those inanimate machines had been infused with life by your grandfather. These days, broken things are just thrown away. Repair shops around here just mishandle your broken items to give them back to you even more busted up. I wish you would open a shop like your grandfather and settle down and blat it. Valenqua! Not even sure if I'm pronouncing the name of this weird ass town right. Fucking weird ass town with a weird ass name. It's Lady Melodia. She's back. Took you long the enough. Lady is safe. Had plenty of time to get ahead of me. Can you, Milady? I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. Lady Melodia, we're so relieved to know you're safe and sound. Milady, Lord Kelbrin is expecting you. We should head for the manor. Yeah, you should. Very well. Let us go then. Alright then. She's back. And with that, I'm all out of time for this episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching and hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye!